Hey, this is Eric, and welcome to Control Alt Achieve for April 29th, 2019. Today's topic Google Slides Short and Long Vowel Sounds Audio Activity. So, in my most recent post, I shared a collection of web-based audio recording tools that you and your students can use to record and add your voice to Google Slides, or really any project. You can find that at uh, www.controlaltachieve.com slash slides audio. Well, there are so many fun and engaging ways that this new feature for adding audio to slides could be used uh, that I wanted to try this out. Uh, in the past, I've had a lot of fun making drag and drop manipulative activities like my uh, build a snowman activity or build a jack-o'-lantern or the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish activity. Uh, so my plan was to combine that sort of activity with this new audio feature that we have with Google Slides. So to try this out, what I worked on was an interactive audio-based activity in Google Slides for practicing short and long vowel sounds. Uh, in this slideshow, the students would get uh, some clip art images and have audio attached to the image, and then they could listen to the word and then drag and drop it into boxes with the different short and long vowel sounds. Now, even if you're not a primary teacher, you say, well, this may not apply to me. Actually, there's a lot of neat things you can learn from taking a look at this activity with um, using grouping of items in Google Slides. Because to make this work well, that's what I had to do. I had to take advantage of this neat option in Google Slides where you can group items together. This allowed me to take a piece of clip art, and then the audio file I'd recorded and put them together and kind of lock them as one so that uh, the students could drag them around in the manipulative activity and they would still stay together. Now, we're going to take a look at that template that I created and explain how that works, but then also take a little bit of time to explain the idea of how the grouping works. Now, all these resources we're going to be talking about in this episode can be found on my blog. For this particular one, it's going to be www.controlaltachieve.com slash vowel sounds, all one word. Uh, there you're going to find the uh, link to the template as well as all the directions on what we did for this activity. So when you head to the blog post for this particular episode, you'll find a link to the template for the short and long vowel sounds slideshow. Uh, we're going to run through real quick what you're going to find in that slideshow. So there is a uh, direction slide that does actually use the embedded audio feature uh, to read the directions aloud. So even though the directions are included on that slide, students could also click there to hear those being read aloud. And that's a, a, a neat accommodation. That's a, a neat way to use audio embedded in Google Slides to have directions read aloud. After that, what we basically do is work through each of the different uh, short and long vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, and U, and for each one of them, it follows pretty much the same pattern. So what I did was I created a slide where I added uh, clip art, eight different clip art items for, uh, in this case, like short A and long A words, and then recorded audio of me saying those words aloud. And the idea would be the students could come in here and they could click on the little audio button for each of those clip art items and have that word spoken aloud. At that point, they could figure out whether that's a long or a short vowel sound and, of course, can just drag that uh, clip art item along with the audio over into the correct box for that. Now, if they want to go deeper and further, so maybe that's good for kindergarten, but maybe for first grade or second grade, they want to do a little bit more than that. Uh, I do have additional slides that include the option for students to add their own pictures so they can go and search for images that would fit like short A or long A, for example. And then there's another slide that has students writing sentences where they use one of the words from the uh, clip art examples or from a word that they came up with uh, that represents, again, 
than the short or the long vowel sound. And this goes through all the different um, vowels uh, up through U in each case. Now, even if you're not a primary teacher and your students aren't working on short and long vowel sounds, there's still some pretty neat stuff you can learn from an activity like this. Um, in this case, the trick that I used was the idea of grouping items in slides. So I want to explain real quick how that works. So basically, the idea would be, in this case, I started by inserting uh, the clip art. So I just went to uh, Insert Image, and in this case, I just uh, searched the web to find some public domain clip art to add to the slide. And then um, I recorded my audio. Now, for recording the audio, I used, in this case, Twisted Wave but there are again several other neat online audio recording tools we talked about in the last episode and blog post. Um, and then of course I went up to insert audio and I added that um, audio file into the slide. Now at this point the clip art and the audio file are two separate items. So what I did was I took the audio file and I drug it over and put it on top of the clip art. Now keep in mind Things will be on top of other items depending upon the order you put them in. So if I had put the audio in first and the clip art later, the clip art would actually show up on top of the audio. And in that case, I would want to click on my audio file, go to the arrange menu, and go to the order menu. And that would allow me to bring that item forwards or backwards as need to be so I could put it in front of the clip art. At that point, what we want to do now is we want to group these two items together. And so this works in Google Slides, Google Drawings. Uh, you can do it with any items that you have. The idea is what I start by doing is clicking on the clip art to select it, and then just hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. And while you're holding that down, go ahead and click on the other item, which in this case is the audio uh, file. And that grabs both of the items at the same time. Now with both of those selected, I can go up to the Arrange menu and I can choose Group. As soon as I click on the Group option, that now makes those two items one item. Now, we can still click on the audio file. Now, you may have to click it twice, click it once to select it, click it a second time to bring up the Play button. I can still play the audio file that's attached, but what's neat is if the student then goes to drag this item, it's going to drag both the clip art and the audio with it. So if you're ever needing to create an activity where you have audio attached to, uh, for example, an image, uh, using grouping is one way that we can accomplish that. So creating a drag and drop audio activity for short and long vowel sounds is just one example of how we could use this neat feature of adding audio to Google Slides. There are certainly many other creative ways that this could be used. Uh, as a reminder, if you'd like to get the template for this particular activity, head to www.controlaltachieve.com slash vowel sounds. Um, however, I would really be excited to hear what other activities folks come up with for using audio in Google Slides and would love to get your feedback on that. Speaking of feedback, there have been a lot of great comments on our last episode and would like to share a few of those with you now. So as I mentioned in our last episode, we were talking about different online tools that can be useful for recording audio. And I had mentioned several of them, but we got a couple other neat suggestions. Uh, Michael Rausch had suggested using Soundtrap. Now, Soundtrap is an awesome tool. It's one that I've used as well before, and I do include it in a post that I did on uh, using Google tools for, for music education. Um, Michael said that uh, the free version of Soundtrap offers a great recording interface for voice. And if you do want to dabble with composing your own music, uh, those tools are fantastic as well. So thank you, Michael, for that recommendation. Um, another neat uh, little bit of a hack that I, I think was a real clever one came from, from Danny Moss. And Danny said that what he has been using um, on occasion is the read and write for Google uh, Chrome extension and using the voice note feature in there. Now, I've definitely used that feature as well myself um, for recording my voice to add feedback on a Google document, for example. Uh, Danny mentioned that when you do use that tool to record your voice, it does 
save that audio file to your Google Drive. So that's another way to get audio saved into your drive. Now keep in mind the only caveat there is that that is part of the uh, premium version of Read and Write. So if you're a teacher, you get that for free. The students would not have that voice note feature as part of the free version of Read and Write. But then again, maybe your school uh, does purchase that um, extension for students to use as well. Uh, beyond those, a third tool that was mentioned quite a bit was Vocaroo, and um, I did not include that one because at the moment it is still Flash based, and Flash is being deprecated in Chrome, so I was worried that's one that um, might not work for everybody, although I do understand that Vocaroo is working on creating a new version that will not be Flash based, so looking forward to that. And as always, I would love to hear any feedback you have on this episode and blog post. Uh, you can share your questions, comments, uh, resources, any other feedback in several ways. Feel free to leave a comment under the blog post, um, leave comments on the YouTube video. You can leave a review in iTunes. You can tag me on Twitter at Eric Kurtz or just send an email to eric at controlaltachieve.com. I'll try to share those comments from time to time in future episodes like we did in this one. So until next time, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. Take care. Dog. The word dog does have two syllables, right?